Welcome to this tutorial on inputting data into SPSS for a split plot analysis of variance problem. First I will read the problem and then identify the variables that will be inputted into SPSS and then demonstrate how these variables and the data will be inputted. The problem. The Weight Loss Manager at Mission Slim Possible, a weight loss center, has asked you to determine if exercise type influences the weight loss of overweight clients over time. They select 90 overweight clients from the weight loss center and assign 30 clients to one of three groups. Group 1, jump rope for 15 minutes every day. Group 2, participate in a one hour Zumba class twice per week. Group 3, walk for one hour every day. Weight loss was determined for each participant after one month of exercise and again after two months of exercise. First, determine if there is a statistically significant difference between the three groups in terms of weight loss. Second, determine if there is a statistically significant difference between lo weight loss at time one and time two across all three groups. Third, determine if there is an interaction effect between group results at time one and time two. Use a .05 significance level and report your results in APA format. So our dependent variable is weight loss at time one and time two. And our independent variable, we actually have two, and that is exercise type with three levels, jumping rope group, Zumba class group, and walking group. And of course, um, time is a second independent variable with two levels, weight loss after one month and weight loss after two months. So let's go to our SPSS file, go to variable view, and our first uh, variable that we will input is exercise and we'll entitle that exercise type. Decrease our decimals. And we have three uh, levels of exercise type, so we'll come to values, click here. The first exercise type, jumping rope, we'll code that as one. So we'll come over here and we'll copy that and put it there. And then we'll add that. Then we code the next um, level which is Zumba class group. Copy that and paste it here and then add it. And then the third, uh, the next level will code as three and this is the walking group. We'll copy that and paste and add it. Now this independent variable of exercise type with three levels is um, categorized as nominal data. Our <coughs> next two entries will be uh, will be uh, the weight loss data at time one after one month and then the next one will be time two or after two months uh, that the, the weight is measured and the loss is calculated. So we will begin by uh, typing in here weight after one month and then the next entry will be wait after two months and we will decrease our decimals and we will make this scale data because it is weight loss that's being categorized by time. So now we input the data and let's first input the data for wait after one month <clears throat> and we will do that we'll do this first one here and this will be for the jumping rope group so we'll, we'll put that here and the jumping w w uh, rope group is coded as a one so we'll go ahead and go down put a one. Then the next, uh, well while we're there we'll go ahead and put the data for time two for the jumping rope group and that will go right here. Actually that will go up here. That will go here. In fact I guess we put it in the wrong area. We'll go ahead and put that right there. 
Now we go to the next exercise type, or weight loss after one month for the next exercise type, which is the Zumba class. So this is right here. After one month, we're weighing. And over here, we'll pick up the next one. This is after two months. And we will copy it here. And of course, we'll code that second group, the Zumba class group, has been coded as two. So we'll put the number two on the exercise type column. And finally, we'll go to the loss of weight after one month for the third group, put it here. And then the loss of weight after two months, and we'll put it here. And as you know, the walking group was coded as a three. So we'll make sure that everyone who was part of that group is identified with the number three. And now we are ready to analyze this data using a split plot ANOVA.